Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to have a look at how we can connect our local host SQL server to a talent shop. Um, before we can do that, we need of course two things. The first thing is a local host SQL server. I have one right here, as you can see, server name is localhost. The login is just a SQL user that I have created that has access to the server and the database. And the database that we're going to use is this one. As you will see, these tables are completely empty. The second thing we need, of course, is in Talent Studio. I have opted for the version 8, but also previous versions work the similar fashion. Um, but let's jump into it. I will create a job connection to localhost SQL. I will create a pre-job that makes the connection to the database. Here, we first need to pick the type of database we are going to connect to, which is in Microsoft SQL Server, and the provider is open source. Then you see some fields pop up that need to be filled in. Those are pretty straightforward, and I've made it, I've created a context for this. So the host, here is just the server, which in our case is just localhost. And the username and the password are the SQL user I have created to access database and the server. So I've filled that in. Uh, database is the database that uh, you need to connect to, which in my case was the all around data talents which was this one. Then you see there are some additional fields. Port is by default 1433 and is okay. It's, an, it's a standard SQL port. Schema is by default empty. Um, if it's empty, it takes by default the DBO schema. So that's okay for me. Um, so now I can connect these two components. I will also create a dummy flow. So we, if you can see that the data is correctly input to the database. Here I create a database output component. Again, type Microsoft SQL Server. And I create the existing connection to the original connection component here, so we don't have to fill in everything twice. I will create a test table, which is create table if it does not exist because otherwise yeah, it will write something to a table that does not exist. Now we can connect those two components. I here create the dummy flow that has one column with the name column one. It will input 10 rows with a value test for column one. Um, we also need to give a length to the type because otherwise it doesn't know which virtual it needs to be created for the table in the database. So we click yes. And now we can test if everything works, um, which won't. <laughs> As you can see here, there is still an error which says network error connection refused. This error means that the SQL is blocking your connection from the talent shop. So there is still one thing that needs to happen. We need to go to the configuration manager, the SQL Server configuration manager, and here you see SQL Server services. Um, normally you have one running here, which is the one we are connecting to, so this one. And you also see here the SQL Server network configuration. So if you drop down, this is the one I was talking about. And you see there are two protocols that are disabled. We need to enable both of those. You get a pop-up that says you need to restart the service, otherwise the changes won't come true. So these are enabled now and we will restart the service. So you will see it will first stop the service and then start the service again, which is the definition of restarting. Um, in the meantime, we can still have a look at 
the tables here. As you can see, the table was not created yet. And in the meanwhile, the server is restarted. So we can retry if the error is there again. But it looks like everything went well. We get uh, exit code zero and no errors. So let's have a look where the table is, if it's created correctly. And as you can see, it's not created yet. That's why, because we need to do one more small thing. So the connection, everything works, connection is fine, but the data isn't committed to the database. That's because we need to explicitly set that the data needs to be committed. You have two options for this. We can here click on auto commit. So that will work. You will see that the table is now created, the DBO test and 10 rows with test in column one. So the flow is correct. Another option is that we commit every transaction. So on component, okay, we first need to pick the database. Trigger on component, okay, like this. And then we can auto commit settings as well. So we will drop this table. And as you can see, so now we can now have a look at it does not exist anymore. And we're in the kit. So exit code zero, is fine. Does the table exist? Yes, it does. Does it contain the data? Yes, it does. So this is all also another option to explicitly do it for every output. Um, both options are fine. So this is in short how we can connect the database to our talent shop and input data to our database. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Hope it helped. See you in the next video.